Learning about water bodies contributes largely to our understanding of the Earth. The lakes, rivers, and vast oceans serve simply to highlight how little we actually understand about our globe. But there are times when some unusual discoveries underwater raise even more questions. From the Yonaguni Monument to the Golden Orb, these are 20 unexplainable underwater discoveries. Number 20. Yonaguni Monument The Yonaguni Monument, often referred to as Japan's Atlantis, is a massive underwater structure that has sparked intrigue and debate since its discovery. In 1988, a local diver named Kihachiro Arataki was exploring the waters off the coast of Yonaguni, a small island in Japan's Ryukyu archipelago, when he stumbled upon a series of astonishing formations. These structures, lying about 25 meters below the surface, showcased sharp angles, flat terraces, and what appeared to be steps and pathways. The monument's most striking feature is its pyramid-like shape, which, at first glance, seems to be a meticulously carved human-made structure. The vast stone complex includes what some interpret as a grand staircase, large platforms, and straight walls, all suggesting the handiwork of an ancient civilization. Some proponents argue that these formations might date back to around 10,000 years ago, possibly built by a long-lost culture. However, the debate rages on. While some researchers, such as marine geologist Masaki Kimura, are convinced that the Yonaguni Monument is an ancient, human-made structure, others, like geologist Robert Schach, believe it to be a natural formation. They argue that the monument's features could have been created by natural processes, such as tectonic activity and erosion. The mystery of the Yonaguni Monument is compounded by the lack of definitive evidence. No artifacts or inscriptions have been found to unequivocally support either theory. Number 19. The Baltic Sea Anomaly The Baltic Sea Anomaly was stumbled upon in 2011 by the Swedish treasure hunting team Ocean X. While on a mission to locate historical shipwrecks in the northern Baltic Sea, their sonar detected a peculiar, large, disc-shaped object resting 92 meters below the surface. The anomaly, measuring approximately 60 meters in diameter, is an unusual shape, which some describe as resembling the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars, features straight edges, right angles, and a stair-like structure leading into an oval hole. Adding to its mystery, divers reported strange electromagnetic disturbances in the vicinity causing their equipment to malfunction when near the anomaly. Theories about the Baltic Sea Anomaly's origin are as varied as they are fascinating. Some speculate that it could be a crashed UFO, suggesting extraterrestrial origins. Others propose it might be an ancient, man-made structure, possibly an anti-submarine device from World War II, or even a remnant of a prehistoric civilization. Skeptics, however, argue that the anomaly is a natural formation, possibly a result of glacial or volcanic activity. Despite numerous expeditions and studies, no definitive conclusions have been drawn. Samples taken from the site have shown it to be made of materials commonly found in nature, but the object's precise formation process remains unexplained. The mystery is deepened by the lack of comparable objects elsewhere on the seafloor, making it a unique enigma. Number 18. Mysterious Jade Artifacts In a stunning underwater discovery off the coast of Veracruz, Mexico, archaeologists unearthed a mysterious jade artifact shaped like a corn cob, dating back to somewhere between 900 BC and 400 BC. This extraordinary find, crafted from jadeite, a material harder than steel, features intricate details that defy easy description. It showcases cleft rectangles, delicate engraved lines, and a distinctive cone emerging from its apex, resembling a corn cob in an abstract manner. The artifact's significance extends beyond its artistic allure. Its discovery in challenging underwater conditions, characterized by near-zero visibility and numerous obstacles like large logs and decomposing vegetation, adds layers of intrigue to its story. Archaeologists, grappling with the complexities of underwater archaeology, meticulously documented the artifact's location and context, providing invaluable insights into ancient Mesoamerican craftsmanship and trade networks. 
The artifact's unveiling marks a milestone in understanding pre-Columbian cultures. Its mottled brown and white jadeite composition suggests it was more than a mere ornament. Rather, it likely held profound cultural or ceremonial significance, possibly connected to rituals or religious practices of the ancient inhabitants of Mesoamerica. Number 17. Walking Fish with Mohawk In 2020, marine biologists made a bizarre and captivating discovery off the coast of Tasmania. A peculiar fish that not only walks along the seafloor, but also sports a striking mohawk-like fin. This extraordinary creature, known as the red handfish, Thymichthys politis, is a member of the handfish family, a group of rare and unusual fish that use their pectoral fins to walk rather than swim. This unique mode of locomotion, combined with its bright red coloration and a prominent dorsal fin resembling a mohawk, makes the red handfish a truly remarkable sight. The mohawk fin, which runs along its back, adds to its distinctive and somewhat comical appearance. The discovery was made during a routine survey by a team from the Institute for Marine and Antarctic Studies and the Reef Life Survey. They were initially searching for known populations of the red handfish, which are critically endangered, with fewer than 100 individuals estimated to remain in the wild. During their expedition, they stumbled upon a previously unknown colony, effectively doubling the known population of this elusive species. The red handfish's habitat consists of shallow, rocky reefs, where it camouflages among seaweed and algae. Its peculiar walking behavior allows it to hunt for small crustaceans and worms on the seafloor, making it an adept predator despite its unusual appearance. Number 16. Lake Michigan Stonehenge In 2007, an incredible discovery beneath the waters of Lake Michigan captured the attention of archaeologists and historians alike. While surveying the lake floor for shipwrecks, a team of researchers from Northwestern Michigan College's Underwater Archaeology Program stumbled upon a series of large circular stones that bore a striking resemblance to the famous Stonehenge in England. The underwater formation, quickly dubbed Lake Michigan Stonehenge, consists of a series of massive stones arranged in a circular pattern. What makes this discovery even more fascinating is the carving found on one of the stones, an unmistakable depiction of a mastodon an extinct mammoth-like creature that roamed North America over 1,000 years ago. This carving suggests that the stone structure could be more than 2,000 years old, predating even the Great Pyramids of Egypt. The discovery was made using sonar technology, which mapped the lake bed and revealed the unusual arrangement of stones. Divers subsequently confirmed the findings, capturing images and videos of the submerged site. The precise purpose and origin of these stones remain a subject of intense speculation and study. Some experts believe that the site may have been a ceremonial or ritualistic gathering place for ancient peoples, possibly serving astronomical or calendrical functions similar to those hypothesized for Stonehenge. Others suggest that the formation could have been used for hunting, as the mastodon carving might indicate a place of significance for ancient hunters. However, without more definitive evidence, the true purpose of Lake Michigan Stonehenge remains an enigma. Number 15. The Antikythera Mechanism In 1901, divers exploring a shipwreck off the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera stumbled upon one of the most enigmatic and fascinating discoveries in archaeological history, the Antikythera Mechanism. This ancient Greek device, initially appearing as a corroded lump of bronze and wood, turned out to be an intricate clockwork mechanism that has since baffled and amazed scientists. The Antikythera mechanism, dating back to around 100 BC, is often hailed as the world's first analog computer. It consists of a complex system of gears and dials encased in a wooden box with inscriptions and markings that reveal its astronomical functions. Detailed analysis showed that it was designed to predict astronomical positions and eclipses as well as the timing of the ancient Olympic Games by simulating the cycles of the solar system. What makes the Antikythera mechanism truly astounding is the level of sophistication and precision engineering it exhibits. The device contains over 30 meshing bronze gears, 
intricately arranged to perform its complex calculations. Such advanced technology was thought to be beyond the capabilities of ancient civilizations, leading many to reconsider their understanding of Greek science and engineering. The mechanism's discovery was made possible by sponge divers who were retrieving artifacts from the shipwreck, which had sunk in the first century BC. Among the treasures recovered were statues, jewelry, and coins. But none have sparked as much intrigue as this mysterious device. Researchers have used advanced imaging techniques to study the internal structure of the Antikythera mechanism, revealing its full complexity and providing insights into its function. Despite over a century of study, many questions remain unanswered, such as who built it and how such knowledge was lost over time. Number 14. The Underwater Crop Circles The underwater crop circles of Japan are one of nature's most intriguing mysteries, where artistry meets aquatic biology in a mesmerizing display. These intricate patterns, resembling mysterious underwater crop circles, are meticulously crafted by male pufferfish, using nothing but their fins and pure determination. Discovered in 1995 off the coast of Japan, these mesmerizing creations stunned marine biologists and photographers alike. The artist behind these underwater wonders is the male pufferfish, also known as Torafugu in Japanese. During mating season, which typically spans from May to June, these dedicated fish tirelessly work day and night to create these elaborate designs on the sandy seabed. What's truly baffling is the meticulous precision with which these fish work. Using their fins to sweep and sculpt the sand, they create radial ridges and valleys, often with a perfect circular shape spanning up to seven feet in diameter. These intricate patterns aren't just for aesthetics. They serve a critical purpose in the puffer fish's quest for love. The circles are designed to attract female pufferfish, who inspect these creations with a discerning eye. If impressed, they will venture inside the circle, where the male continues his courtship dance. It's believed that the uniformity and complexity of these circles signal the male's fitness and genetic prowess, making them irresistible to potential mates. Despite decades of research, the exact reasons behind the pufferfish's artistic inclination and the mathematical precision of their designs remain a scientific enigma. Number 13, the Submerged Church of Potosi. The Submerged Church of Potosi in Venezuela is a hauntingly beautiful relic of a town lost beneath the waters of a reservoir. Nestled in the valleys of the Andes, Potosi was once a vibrant community with a prominent church at its heart. Today, only the steeple of that church emerges eerily from the depths of the Urubanti Reservoir during dry seasons, offering a glimpse into its submerged past. The discovery of this submerged church occurred in the 1980s, when the Venezuelan government decided to build the Urubante Caparo Hydroelectric Dam, flooding the valley and the town of Potosi to create a reservoir. As the waters rose, they slowly engulfed Potosi and its 7th century church, leaving behind a reminder of a lost community. Legend has it that the church's steeple resurfaces during dry seasons when the water levels recede, revealing intricate details of its architecture and the passage of time. Visitors are treated to a surreal sight as they witness the steeple standing tall amidst the waters. The exact reasons for the town's submersion and abandonment remain shrouded in mystery. Some speculate it was a strategic decision to harness hydroelectric power, while others attribute it to geological considerations. Recently, drought has made the submerged building appear twice, shedding more light into the depth and nature of the building. Number 12. The Sunken Train Graveyard The Sunken Train Graveyard off the coast of New Jersey is a captivating mystery that unveils relics of America's industrial past hidden beneath the waves. Discovered in 1985 by a group of divers exploring the murky depths near Long Branch, two remarkably intact locomotives from the mid-19th century are remarkably preserved despite their aquatic tomb. These locomotives, believed to date back to the 1850s, were found approximately 90 feet below the surface, sparking immediate intrigue and speculation about their origins. 
The discovery puzzled historians and marine archaeologists, as there were no documented records or accounts of how these steam-powered giants met their watery fate. One prevailing theory suggests that these locomotives were being transported by barge from the manufacturer in New Jersey to a destination further south. However, rough seas or a navigational mishap could have caused the barge to capsize, sending the trains plummeting into the depths where they remain to this day. Number 11. Underwater Castle in Lake Van The underwater castle in Lake Van, Turkey, is a captivating relic that has left archaeologists and historians in awe. Discovered in 2017 by a team of divers and researchers from Van Yuzen Chuyul University, this ancient fortress lies submerged beneath the waters of Turkey's largest lake, sparking a wave of excitement and curiosity. The castle, estimated to be around 3,000 years old, dates back to the Iron Age and is believed to have been built by the Urartian civilization, which thrived in the region between the 9th and 6th centuries BCE. The underwater discovery revealed walls stretching nearly a kilometer, with sections rising up to three or four meters high. Despite being submerged for centuries, the castle's structure remains remarkably well-preserved, showcasing the Urartians' sophisticated masonry skills. What makes this find even more fascinating is the mystery surrounding its submersion. Lake Van, an endorheic lake, has no outlet and its water levels have fluctuated over millennia due to climatic and geological changes. It is believed that the rising waters eventually engulfed the castle, preserving it in a watery grave. Number 10. The Lost City of Heracleion The lost city of Heracleion, once a bustling port in ancient Egypt, lay hidden beneath the Mediterranean Sea for centuries. Discovered in 2000 by French underwater archaeologist Frank Gaudio, this sunken city off the coast of Alexandria has since become one of the most remarkable underwater archaeological sites ever found. Heracleion, known as Thonis to the Egyptians, thrived around 2,300 years ago as a major trading hub and religious center before it vanished into the sea approximately 1,200 years ago. The reasons for its sudden submersion remain elusive with theories ranging from a combination of natural catastrophes, such as earthquakes, tsunamis, and soil liquefaction, to gradual subsidence due to rising sea levels. Frank Gaudio and his team uncovered a trove of well-preserved artifacts, statues, and structures buried in the silt. Among the most impressive finds were massive statues of the gods Hopi and Osiris, a stunning black granite slab inscribed with ancient texts and the remains of grand temples and docks that once welcomed traders from across the Mediterranean. The artifacts from Heracleion have provided invaluable insights into ancient Egyptian life, commerce, and religion. The city was a bustling port where Greek and Egyptian cultures intertwined, as evidenced by the variety of goods and inscriptions found. The discovery of coins, pottery, and jewelry sheds light on the everyday lives of its inhabitants, while the grand statues and temples reveal the city's religious significance. Number 9. 50-foot-tall chimney The 50-foot-tall underwater chimney, also known as a hydrothermal vent, is a natural marvel found in the dark depths of the ocean. These towering structures were first discovered in 1977 by a team of scientists aboard the submersible Alvin while exploring the Galapagos Rift. The discovery was nothing short of revolutionary, revealing a vibrant and alien-like ecosystem thriving in the pitch-black, high-pressure environment of the deep sea. Hydrothermal vents are formed by volcanic activity beneath the ocean floor. Seawater seeps into the cracks of the Earth's crust, gets heated by molten rock, and then rises back up, carrying dissolved minerals. When this superheated water meets the frigid ocean, the minerals precipitate out, creating towering chimney-like structures made of sulfides and other compounds. What makes these events truly fascinating is the unique life forms that flourish around them. Despite the extreme conditions, temperatures can exceed 700 degrees Fahrenheit. These vents host diverse ecosystems. Tube worms, giant clams, and various microorganisms thrive in these environments, relying on chemosynthesis rather than photosynthesis. Chemosynthetic bacteria convert the vent's chemical-rich emissions into energy, 
forming the base of this extraordinary food web. The discovery of hydrothermal vents has not only expanded our understanding of life on Earth, but also sparked curiosity about the potential for life on other planets. Similar conditions might exist on moons, like Jupiter's Europa or Saturn's Enceladus, where subsurface oceans could harbor life. Number 8. Ghost Shark The ghost shark, also known as a chimera, is a mysterious and elusive deep-sea creature. These cartilaginous fish, relatives of sharks and rays, inhabit the dark depths of the world's oceans, typically found at depths of 200 to 2,600 meters. Ghost sharks are named for their ghostly appearance, with pale, translucent skin and eerie, vacant eyes that seem to glow in the dark. Ghost sharks were first documented by scientists in the early 20th century, but due to their deep-sea habitat, sightings were rare and sporadic. It wasn't until the advent of modern deep-sea exploration technology that more substantial observations were made. In 2009, a remotely operated vehicle exploring the depths off the coast of California and Hawaii captured rare footage of a ghost shark, sparking renewed interest and research into these enigmatic creatures. Ghost sharks are known for their distinctive features, including a long, slender body, a pointed snout, and wing-like pectoral fins. They also possess a unique retractable sexual appendage on their foreheads, used during mating. Unlike their more aggressive shark cousins, ghost sharks are relatively docile and feed primarily on small fish and invertebrates, using their grinding tooth plates to crush hard-shelled prey. Number 7. Roman Shipwreck The Roman shipwreck off the coast of Cyprus is a captivating underwater discovery discovered in 2019 by a team of archaeologists from the University of Cyprus and the Cyprus Department of Antiquities. This well-preserved shipwreck dates back to the 4th century AD, during the height of the Roman Empire. Located near the ancient port city of Protaras, the shipwreck was found at a depth of about 45 meters. The discovery was made possible through advanced underwater survey techniques, including sonar mapping and remote-operated vehicles which helped pinpoint the exact location of the sunken vessel. The ship, believed to have been a merchant vessel, was likely involved in the bustling trade routes that connected the eastern Mediterranean. The wreck's cargo, which includes a remarkable collection of amphorae, large ceramic jars used for transporting goods, suggests that it was carrying a variety of commodities such as wine, olive oil, and grains. These amphorae are invaluable to archaeologists as they provide insights into the trade practices, economic conditions, and daily life of the Roman period. One of the most intriguing aspects of this shipwreck is its state of preservation. The sediment and sea conditions around Cyprus have helped protect the wooden structure and its cargo, allowing researchers to study the ship's construction and the goods it carried in great detail. Number 6. The Strange Methane Leak The strange methane leak discovered off the coast of the Pacific Northwest in 2016 is a fascinating underwater phenomenon that has puzzled scientists and captured public interest. This discovery was made by a team of researchers from the University of Washington while they were conducting routine surveys of the seafloor using an underwater vehicle equipped with advanced sensors. The leak was found at a depth of approximately 1,000 meters near the continental shelf, where methane gas was observed bubbling up from the seabed. Methane is a potent greenhouse gas, and its release into the atmosphere can significantly impact climate change. What makes this leak particularly intriguing is its location and the amount of methane being released, which is much higher than typical seepage sites. Researchers have identified that the methane is escaping from hydrate deposits, crystalline structures that trap methane within a lattice of water molecules. These deposits are stable under high pressure and low temperatures, conditions found in deep sea environments. However, changes in ocean temperature or seismic activity can destabilize these hydrates, causing them to release methane gas. This discovery has raised several questions and concerns. Scientists are keen to understand what triggered the leak and how it might affect the surrounding marine ecosystem and global climate. The presence of methane seeps also suggests that similar leaks might exist elsewhere, previously undetected, 
potentially contributing to unexplained increases in atmospheric methane levels. Now, it's time for our subscribers pick. Since 21, what this underwater drone captured terrifies the whole world. Exploring the depths of the Atlantic Ocean, the drone transmitted a startling image that sent waves through the scientific community. The photograph, which depicted a futuristic structure glowing with lights, resembled something out of a science fiction movie. This enigmatic find quickly became one of the most talked about underwater discoveries, challenging our understanding of what lies beneath the ocean's surface. Initial analysis suggested that the structure might be an ancient city, long submerged and preserved by the ocean's cold, dark waters. The sophisticated design, featuring circular formations and apparent windows, sparked debates about whether it was of human origin or perhaps an alien outpost. Despite extensive research, no definitive conclusion has been reached. Some experts propose that it could be an example of advanced ancient engineering, while others speculate that it might be a natural phenomenon misinterpreted by the drone sensors. But what do you think this is? Share your insights with us in the comment section. Number 5. Bimini Road Bimini Road, an underwater rock formation off the coast of Bimini in the Bahamas, has been a source of intrigue and speculation since its discovery in 1968 by Dr. J. Manson Valentine. Comprising a series of rectangular limestone blocks, the formation lies in shallow waters and stretches for about half a mile, appearing remarkably similar to a man-made road or wall. The discovery of Bimini Road ignited a firestorm of theories and debates. Some enthusiasts and researchers believe it to be the remnants of the legendary lost city of Atlantis, as described by the ancient philosopher Plato. This theory is bolstered by Edgar Cayce, a psychic who predicted that remnants of Atlantis would be found near Bimini in the 1960s. The precise alignment and arrangement of the blocks suggest to some that they are not natural, but rather the handiwork of an advanced ancient civilization. On the other side of the debate, many geologists and scientists argue that Bimini Road is a natural formation. They propose that the blocks are simply beach rock, a type of limestone that forms in intertidal zones and can break into rectangular pieces due to natural processes like erosion and fracturing. According to this view, the straight edges and regular shapes of the blocks are the result of geological forces rather than human intervention. Regardless of its origins, Bimini Road remains a captivating site for divers and researchers. Number 4. Zombie Worms Zombie worms, scientifically known as Osidax, are eerie and fascinating creatures that thrive in the deep sea. These small, bone-eating worms were first discovered in 2002, off the coast of California, by a team of marine biologists using remotely operated vehicles to explore a whale carcass on the ocean floor. Their discovery was a breakthrough in understanding deep-sea ecosystems and the decomposition processes of large marine animals. Zombie worms are named for their macabre diet. They feed on the bones of dead whales and other large marine animals. Unlike most organisms, they lack a mouth and digestive system. Instead, they use root-like structures to bore into bones and secrete acid to dissolve them. The worms then rely on symbiotic bacteria within their bodies to digest the bone's fat and proteins, converting it into nutrients they can absorb. These worms are unique not only for their diet, but also for their reproductive strategies. The female Osidax are much larger than the males and house harems of microscopic males within their tubes. This unusual arrangement ensures that the females are continually fertilized, allowing them to efficiently colonize new bones. The discovery of zombie worms has provided valuable insights into the complex and previously unknown processes that occur in deep sea ecosystems. They play a crucial role in recycling nutrients from the ocean's largest dead animals, contributing to the overall health of marine environments. Number three, the Hadal Zone. The Hadal Zone, also known as the Silent Zone, represents the deepest part of the ocean extending from about 6,000 meters to the ocean floor, which can reach depths of over 11,000 meters. This extreme environment, named after Hades, the Greek god of the underworld, was first brought to scientific attention in the mid-20th century 
with the advent of deep sea exploration technologies. One of the most famous explorations of the Hadal zone occurred in 1960, when the Bathyscaphe Trieste, piloted by Jacques Picard and Don Walsh, descended into the Challenger Deep in the Mariana Trench, reaching a depth of 10,912 meters. This historic dive demonstrated that life could exist in such extreme conditions, revolutionizing our understanding of deep-sea ecosystems. The Hadal Zone is characterized by perpetual darkness, crushing pressures exceeding 1,100 atmospheres and near-freezing temperatures. Despite these harsh conditions, it is home to a surprising array of life forms, many of which are uniquely adapted to survive in this inhospitable environment. These include amphipods, certain types of fish, and microbial communities that thrive on the organic matter sinking from the ocean's upper layers. The organisms found in the Hadal zone have fascinated scientists due to their unique adaptations, such as flexible cell membranes, specialized enzymes, and efficient energy usage. Studying these creatures provides valuable insights into the limits of life on Earth and has implications for the search for life on other planets. Number 2. Cleopatra's Palace Cleopatra's Palace, submerged off the coast of Alexandria, Egypt, is a legendary site steeped in history and mystery. The palace, once a symbol of ancient opulence and power, was constructed during the reign of Cleopatra VII, the last active pharaoh of Egypt. The exact location of the palace remained elusive until its discovery in 1998 by French archaeologist Frank Godio and his team using advanced underwater surveying techniques. Hundreds of blocks, really large uh, structural blocks. The palace, along with the ancient city of Alexandria, was victim to a series of natural disasters, including earthquakes and tsunamis, which gradually submerged the once grand structure beneath the Mediterranean Sea. Despite its underwater resting place, the site has yielded a treasure trove of artifacts, sculptures, and architectural remnants that provide glimpses into its former glory. Among the notable discoveries are statues of Egyptian gods and goddesses, intricate stonework, and remnants of grand halls and courtyards adorned with marble and precious metals. These findings hint at the palace's original grandeur and its significance as a cultural and political center during Cleopatra's reign. The underwater excavation of Cleopatra's palace continues to uncover new artifacts and pieces of the puzzle that was ancient Alexandria. Number 1. Golden Orb The Golden Orb, also known as the Golden Orb Spider, is a remarkable creature found primarily in tropical regions around the world. Discovered in various habitats, including rainforests and gardens, these spiders are renowned for their impressive size and distinctive appearance. They derive their name from the striking golden hue of their silk, which they use to construct large, intricate webs. These spiders belong to the genus Nephila, with several species known for their robust bodies and long, slender legs, adorned with vibrant yellow or golden markings. The females, much larger than their male counterparts, can reach sizes of up to four to five inches in body length, making them some of the largest spiders in the world. One of the most fascinating aspects of the golden orb spider is its web-building prowess. Their silk is incredibly strong and durable, capable of capturing large prey such as birds, butterflies, and even small mammals. The golden coloration of their silk serves multiple purposes, including UV reflection to attract prey and camouflage within their natural surroundings. Despite their formidable appearance, golden orb spiders are generally harmless to humans. Their venom is not potent enough to cause serious harm, although bites can be painful and cause localized reactions. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.